Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forens here playing the British Empire of Great Britain and, and everywhere else. Um, we are moving now to get to Colonial Alaska. We're also moving to get a war with Aragon. We picked up Colonial Australia. We beat up however you say those guys, and we took half of Madagascar, which I'm rapidly coring and then converting, and then I'm going to add to trade companies. We're also making a serious amount of money from uh, gold from our colonial nations. And I somehow still have yet to get Admin Tech 16, due to having a pretty pitiful ruler who's been on the throne for quite some time now. You know what? Should I have him abdicate? His heir's one better, but is a lot younger. But he doesn't have the diplomatic reputation, but neither is he an embezzler. Hmm. No, I think I will have him abdicate. There we go. It'll give me more time to build up. Like a good heir and everything else. Hopefully my, you know, my young ruler here doesn't just drop dead in the meantime. There we go. This province are cord. Don't really know if I need a fort there, but I'll leave it there for now. It's not like we're lacking in money, so. Speaking of forts though, I really should work on developing some of my border forts. Just in case of a major war in Europe. Which, to be honest, I'm actually plotting right now, because I'm going against Aragon. The only question I really have is where's Castile's armies? Oh, they're trying to conquer. West Africa. Salzburg likes me. Let's get a free stability from relations with the Pope. How is Norway doing? Norway's getting beaten up. Burgundy's getting beaten up. I can actually start a war over here in North America, I believe. Yep. We'll do that. Let Newfoundland conquer things. Actually, I should see if they're in debt. They usually are. Yeah, they are again. <laughs> oh, poor people in Canada, in this case. Or Newfoundland. I mean, I guess technically it's Canada. Let's see about paying off that debt for you. Is there a way I can sort this? I guess that'll do. If they have debt, I can't pay it off right now. Yeah. I don't have the money. Okay. We're surprisingly not making as much money as we were a minute ago. I think that's mainly because our advisor cost just went up 20%. Would be my suspicion. Um, we're going to go for Garona. Hopefully I have enough troops in Europe to win this war. I think I do, but we'll find out pretty soon, won't we? Aragon is allied to just Portugal, so I'm not too worried about their combat strength. The other thing I might consider doing is um, vassalizing Portugal. If they're small enough. Clear war, take that province. I should be able to win this. Or I could end up attacking a much stronger, a much larger force. Although apparently I'm much, much stronger. We got another colony done. I suspect that's, yep, down in Australia. Uh, actually, let's work on Taiwan, actually. Because I suspect us controlling Taiwan would start to erode China's power. So we, don't, we want to do... Yeah, we'll do Sunday schools. That'll be worth it. Faster conversion strength, always strong. Especially if we're working on converting fetishish lands and Protestants. 
Even though our tolerance right now is really good. Um, okay. They will not surrender despite being occupied. It's a bit annoying. However, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I really should be paying more attention to this war in Europe, but I'm not. Okay, let's rampage through here. We'll beat up the Aragonese. We'll... Did Portugal? Portugal did not join the war, so it's literally me versus Aragon, which means I can take quite a bit of their land. I should actually be able to take most of their Aragon, Aragonese land. Speaking of toleration, I can't promote another culture. Right here. Just wondering about that. Come on. Where? There you go. Well, we can now probably piece those guys out. Take eight gold, which was their, apparently their full treasury. Expand that. Let's get a claim on a... We don't want Ridge of Elk. We want one of their North American colonies. They lost all their land outside of both Norway and North America. So this shouldn't be too hard to beat them. Should be able to just do that. Yeah. I'll just declare with that and pretty much let my vassals win the war for me. Speaking of my ships, where are you? I really need to upgrade you again, don't I? Oh yeah. So much for the mighty British Navy. Apparently I'm falling massively behind in upgrading my fleet. It's not good. Actually, maybe not, I'm not as bad as I thought I was. Just meet by that one fleet that's really out of date. There we go. Brazil is finished colonizing the coast, which is good. I think. Where are they colonizing now? Oh, they're moving inland. I guess it makes sense. They've got a long way to go. Valencia has fallen, which means this should be the last major battle of this war. Once I stack wipe them. There we go. They've been stack wiped. What can I take for land? Ooh, that is close. I really wish I could do that. I'll wait for a ticking war score. Cherokee Separatists. I'm not worried. There we go. I'm now Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay. So let's work on getting an heir, first of all. And uh, then figure out where I'm going from there. Don't have an heir. That's not good. And uh, I'm allied to the Dutch, right? So I could... No, I already got a royal marriage. Okay. Or in the HRE... Is it possible now to add London to the HRE? Let's find out. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Can we jump? We can. Okay, we're going to add London to the HRE. And uh, however, it's going to reduce us to a duchy level, which is annoying. There we go. I don't believe I can pass reforms while at war. Yeah, so I have to end my wars. But we are now in the HRE, and we did lose a rank, which kind of sucks. But I guess I wasn't really using it that much. The Norwegians are losing that war, I'm not surprised. The Argonese are losing their part of the war. We really don't need that much more to piece out the Argonese. Castile has laid a claim to my throne. That's 39. He should manage to die without losing, without while well, having an heir. Even if he does die, our dynasty still takes over. Uh, we'll do reduce construction costs. Not that we're building anything anymore. Can I piece you out yet? I can. I can take your land. There could be a coalition, but it doesn't look like it's going to be major. More importantly for me, it's now cut off Castile from taking any more of Argon's lands. So, priorities, of course. Wait, do I not have military access through Castile? There we go. 
I would have been surprised. I, I am surprised, actually, that I wasn't able to get military access through there. Okay, Wattenberg is invading my lands up there. That's interesting. Norway is almost ready to peace out. We'll give them a seat in Parliament. Actually, let's just attack those guys. Norway's capital is fallen. How big of a coalition would that be? Not really that large. It's really a matter of piecing those guys out of the war now. Um, no. Okay, that should be handled by Mexico. My uh, troops down there. I want to deal with Kilwa again. I think I've got a claim on their land still. Yeah, I do. Um, I guess I'll work on Malindi and Hormuz. If I can threaten for a den, that would be nice. Sure you just don't want white peace? Nope. They want to fight to the bitter end. Well, it's going to be their end and not mine because the Dutch are already sieging their capital. I don't need to call the Dutch to arms, but I really do need to get better relations with them for the moment. And now we wait for the siege of Sot Lautenberg to end. And I know I'm probably saying it wrong. There we go. Lautenberg will fall momentarily. We have a new heir and he is terrible, so I'm going to disinherit him instantly, pretty much. Although the consort's bad too. Ugh. She's at least better than the heir, almost. I hope we don't get a worse heir. That would be annoying. Actually, we're not in a real problem anymore, because we're part of the HRE, which means we have a higher bonus to becoming emperor again, since we're the only Catholic nation in the HRE. We should even be better off. What I really got to do is I should look for finding not feudal monarchies, but see if there's any like, yeah, like Ham Hamburg here, forcing them to be, um, to swap back to Catholicism would be nice. I would like to rebuild the HRE, but I don't think that's going to happen. It might just me be me brute forcing my way to uh, passing reforms. Yeah, I'll pay the money, reduce the separatists. Speaking of development, we're still working on trying to develop England enough. Which is taking quite some time. Actually, I should really do it differently, shouldn't I? It's 21. I'm out of it anyway, but I'm just... Got quite a ways to go. We've got... Four provinces to what we need of 25. Is there any other nations I can pay off debt for? Pay off debt. Oh, some. Whoa. Wait a second. I vassalized these guys? Oh, I bet it's because I killed off their owners. Oh my gosh, that's not good, because that's costing me diplomatic relations slots. Oops. Okay, let's do this right. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's... We could take it. I don't think it's worth it. Let's just force religion. There we go. We force the religion there. Now I should be able to just outright vassalize Norway. However, I do want those two provinces. There we go. Norway has fallen under my control. I think I still have... Yeah, they still have claims on these. Or at least one on there. Should I... I might be able to threaten Russia, um, Sweden now. No, they're going to hold on to it. I mean, they are allied to Russia, so I guess that matters a lot to them. 
Um, we can threaten... No, we can't threaten those guys. I thought we had a claim on them. Oh, I must have just lost it. Okay. We've almost got a claim on those guys. We're going to get a claim on those guys. We'll threaten for those. We really do need an heir. We have some very unhappy vassals. Norway particular is particularly is unhappy. However, since this is all Norwegian, they'll never lose their claims or cores on it, so I can always give that back to them. They can colonize, but since they'll be colonizing land for me, when I when I annex them, I'll get any land they may have colonized. Really, these guys are still one to revolt. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm converting their lands. That would be why. Autonomous rebel suppression should take care of that. Good claim on one of those provinces. Second in score now, still third in military. I suspect I'm probably behind both the Ottomans and Russia. That would be my rough guess. Did I really fabricate a claim on their capital? Oh uh, no, okay. There we go. Threaten for that province, take that province. I am going to lose some absolutism there. I'm fine with that. We can now put a claim on... Oh, we have no neighboring provinces possible to fabricate a claim on. That's a bit annoying. I guess I'll have to get a province from those guys. Yeah, you can have military access for now, at least. Um, we can fight another war with the Congo. We can do that. I think I need to wait till either these rebels revolt or they're not going to be revolting. Let's harsh treat them. That should be enough for the moment. We'll put Ambrose Churchill in charge of this army. We'll load him up. We'll move him to back to the Congo. I should be able to still win this war, even though they are catching up in Miltech. Just because they're not catching up fast enough. Russia is no longer considered a rival. That's nice. We're going to do... Okay, I can't even really tell what's going on here. Um, I really let's do expand the diplomatic corps. You know, crown lands, diplomatic support. There we go. Now, is it possible for me to actually fabricate a claim on these guys? Apparently, to some degree. Right, the question is, are they going to do? Yep, uh, instantly they do counter espionage. Okay, that's annoying. So the game apparently anticipates or fit can knows that I'm spying on them. Um, let me improve relations with Russia for the moment. If I cannot have Russia as a rival, that would be nice. Nah, I still gotta keep converting these. Okay, let's see what land down here I have converted and thrown into a trade company. Since I can't use the land anyway, there's no point in uh, keeping it out of a trade company. What little money I do get is very little. Oh, South African Charter. Well, that's not going to do much. Do we have any other states I can add? No. Not particularly. Okay. I thought we were out of the slave. Oh, we condemned slavery, but apparently we're still participating in it. Okay. Only reason I'm doing it is because of the additional trade power. 
What else can we do? Oh, apparently we can't build cathedrals yet. Can build some universities, though. Uh, no. Let's not do it that way, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, it does decrease the cost of upgrading the provinces. So let's put it in these ones. No, we don't really need prestige or legitimacy at the moment. What we do need is an heir. We need an heir. Where do I get an heir? <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Unlawful territory, Austria. Let's go mess around with Austria again. Oh, I just realized we're not at war. Oh my, they took a lot of land. Oh my, I may have to start a war here with Austria. Uh, it's going to be the Dutch too. Oh. Okay, well I guess the best I can do at the moment is just keep demanding unlawful territory. Okay, the revolt in Aragon. You're automatically suppressing rebels. You're here in the Congo. Okay, what can I do? Let's get a claim going. Oh, I can't... Oh, because that hasn't finished coring. That's annoying. Okay. Um, back to talk to Austria again. More unlawful. I'm going to have to pass a lot of demand unlawful territories on these guys. Hopefully the penalty in the HRE will start to hurt them and their allies. Maybe it's possible they lose their allies. Cork bottle stoppers. Wine's more expensive. Hmm. I didn't know when cork bottle stoppers were invented. 1643, apparently. Um, what was I doing again? I was going to... Ah! Yes, add land to the HRE and try and pass a reform. Six for the forum, lots against. Saxony is now Catholic. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, let's add my British lands to the HRE first, then we'll deal with the French lands. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Sorry, this is just the worst, one of the worst mechanics in my mind in the game is trying to add large amounts of land to the hitchery. Tick tock, tick tock, move here, click here, go here, add another. Accidentally move the screen, because apparently moving that far over can sometimes move the screen. The question is, is there even enough provinces I can add that will allow me to pass a reform? I would hope so. Well, I don't know if anyone ever thought it would happen, but the Scots are now part of the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not saying something. I don't really know what it's saying, but it's clearly saying something. I think it's saying how weird this game is. I think I can actually add these islands, right? Yeah, I can actually add the islands. Oh my gosh. The Faroes Islands are now part of the HRE. And when I annex Norway, I should be able to add Norway to it, so. Oh yeah, yeah. that's funny. Part of the reason I want to ram through a reform on the HRE is that the first reform is really good for everybody, including development costs on provinces. Well, that's 42 provinces to the HRE. Oops, I missed one. 43. Um, let's just do the coastline for the moment. I'll probably add, figure out how much I can add for the next one off camera just because of how slow this is. That's still not enough for the reform. Okay. Um, 
Losing one a month, so hopefully will this take over the next month? 6-4, a lot against. Oh, how high do I need to get it to get the reform through? Apparently really high. Oh my. I really should have checked this first. Now I feel like an idiot. Yes, I'm overextended. Yes, I'm not Germanic, but still. Okay, apparently I'm going to have to enforce religious unity on people. And that's not going to end well, I don't think. Can I even do so? Should be able to force it on some people, yeah. Okay, what's the largest one I can force it on first? The Platinate, no. Treyer, apparently no. It's mostly based off their opinion of me. Let's do Cleaves. The back is too large, I believe. They're unhappy with me. You're unhappy. Oh, you're a free city still. How are you guys still free cities? Usually that they're one of the first people to disappear. Is there anyone else I can force through? The fact that Saxony converted back is nice. There's still a handful of free cities in the Empire. Okay, well I can put in a few more electors now, I imagine. Okay, let's make Lorraine an elector. I know these are... Oh, apparently they won't accept an electorship. Oh, there they are. Accept an electorship there. Uh... No. We don't want to risk a civil war. We'll give Lautenberg one. We'll give Cleves one? Sure. That's helping a bit. It's still not enough to actually rebalance the empire, though. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy anyway, but I was hoping I could get a little bit more. I was hoping I could get some of these smaller nations. Great. Can't do that either. Just too many provinces, apparently. Switzerland's in the HRE. Yeah. I don't really see how I get to do so. Silesia is part of the HRE, and it's Catholic, so I can give them an electorship. That's helping. Anyone else I can give an electorship to? Teutons are not part of it. Let's grab the admin tech there. Eight people for the reform, 18 against. That's not good. Hmm. Okay, well... I think I've got to end this video here, but I definitely want to try and uh, figure out a way to get more religious unity in the HRE. Probably just by diplomatic relations with them overall. I still can't fabricate a claim on you yet. Actually, let's go a little bit more just so I can fabricate a claim. Claim has been gained, which means... Um, can I still not? I still can't fabricate? Oh, it's two C regions. Oh, boy. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to do some more work here to figure out what I'm doing to get into the HRE. Well, actually, sorry, not to get into the HRE, because we're in the HRE, but to uh, actually maybe even pass a single reform. I don't really know how we're supposed to do that. Everyone there hates me. So... That will be it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. Apparently my great plan is starting to fall apart around my ears, but uh, we'll see what I can do. It might involve a couple wars in the HRE to enforce religious unity, I'm thinking. So that will be it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all another time. Bye for now.